don't know if you can see my head's covering it, but I got uh, I got the mummy poster over there. Uh, it's, it's one, of my, one of my favorite movies of all time, that and the mummy returns. And I just got to say like, you know, uh, a big part of why I'm such a big fan is your portrayal of a Naksuna moon in the, in the movies. I just, I just got to know if for, I, I want to know what, what, what Patricia Velasquez would do if she found a cursed artifact, like the one, the mummy, what would you do? Well, uh, I mean, Patricia would not worry about it because I think that, yeah, certain, I, I believe in energy for sure. I think things definitely have energy. But I also think and believe that we are the ones that can give power to that energy. Uh, otherwise, my goodness, we would live in a really weird world. Uh, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Now, if uh, Mila or Anixon and we will find another one, uh, definitely would use it for her own benefit. And that's really it. But when you think about um, both of these characters, they were just fighting for love. You know, they, she just really wanted the mommy back. Uh, the thing is that her choices along the way were not the right choices to make. Uh, but this is a woman that was fighting for love. And and that's that's really what she what she did. And I, I think that's maybe that that's what was so appealing about her, uh, that made yeah. people like her in a way uh she just made the wrong choices especially at the end oh for sure well that's why i think the, these movies still hold a special place in my heart and everybody else's is because of that reason it's not just your typical action adventure movie it's it's a love story and i think that's what makes it interesting people like to see romance and even though imhotep and, and, and aksun moon were villains you know it's more yeah. like you still get interested you still want to get into why like, why is she doing this? Or why why did he do this? And it's all out of love at the end of the day, as crazy as it was. So, yeah. I sometimes think uh, we try to dig so deep into finding some things. But at the end of the day, the truth is simple. And that's it. The truth like is simple. When something is truthful, it's simple. Uh, so that's, that's really what happened with that film. I, you know, we all... We all work very hard in, in, in that film. And if there's something that I, I, I can tell you that I learned from that film is I was I was in Los Angeles. And look, I work very hard. I study tremendously. And I work every day, even 25, almost 30 years later. I mean, that's 20-something years later. But, uh, but I, in my career. Um, but sometimes there are certain things that happen that really might change your life. Like for me with The Mummy. You know, I was just in Los Angeles. My agent told me that, uh, that he wanted me to go and see this casting director at Universal. Her name uh, is Joanna Colbert. And I just went to see her uh, at a meeting, a regular meeting. Had no idea that uh, she was actually checking me out for this film. That was it. So, and then the day after I hear I'm going to London to shoot this movie called The Mummy. It was like, it, I, no, no audition, no... It was just like that. And when I get to it, it all happened so fast that when I when I got there, I I didn't even imagine that that's, that film was going to be that big um, and that I had stepped into such a big production. Um, so it taught me definitely how important it is to be kind to people all the time. And I have learned along the way that you need to be kind to everybody. And especially, I mean, she wasn't an assistant. She was a casting director. But I give you a tip, especially to assistants, because sometimes they make or break the deals. They're the ones, you know, always, always consider assistants as your friends, as your best friends, because they, they have so much power in their hands. And that's just simply talking about business and you know trying to get things moving along that's it that's a big one um and then you know after that i just went, went back to do the mummy returns and and then the work that we put into it like that scene of the fight for example that's such a classic right that fight oh. scene so you know that scene that was not supposed to because it's such a big film and it goes so fast it wasn't really supposed to be us fighting that's why the scene is you're supposed to have a mask on 
uh, because it was supposed to be our stunts. But Rachel and I got so into it. We trained so hard uh, that by the time it came to shoot, it was us doing it. I only I did every stunt except my backflip. And, you know, we were training for weeks, hours every day. So and it became very competitive, healthy in a healthy way, though, uh, in that show. So at the end of the day, um, I, I, you know, every the fact that that movie has become a classic, I think for all of us that were involved in the film, um, it's it's very special that we were a part of that. Those films that they still play over and over again and, and they're classics.